Hey guys, welcome back to Shots of Victory. I'm Blake. And I'm Rocky. Today we'll be talking about Raw, NXT SmackDown, and week five, six? Seven. Seven. God, seven <laughs> uh, results. Dang. What are week seven? It, this season's flown by. I, I forgot about last week. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to think about that ever again. Yeah. Um... That's why Blake was in here, obviously. Yeah. I'm back, though. Didn't die. Really burnt. Mm-hmm. And miserable. Haircut. But I had a haircut, I think. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, first, we start off with Rhea Ripley. Ripley. <laughs> Rhea Ripley and Tiffany Stratton promo that ends with them getting beaten up by Raquel and Aliv. Um, just kind of... Tiffany being in this is just so weird. Like, I get it, but just... Yeah. It's like... I don't... I mean, she doesn't have anybody else to team up with. Yeah, but like... I don't know. It's just weird. Mm -hmm. I'm... Like... I'm surprised no one's complained about the brand split about this. Because I feel like any with everything that happens... They always complain about, bro, like... How there's a brand split. But about, yeah. like, this is like the one thing... That I have not heard it about. Mm-hmm. Like, but it kind of makes sense since this match is basically meant to put the hands together with the champions facing each other. Mm -hmm. Which, that still, in itself, is dumb. A great thing to be doing. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing this, is, this match tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, do you anything else about that? Because it really doesn't, doesn't end no. much. Next, we had Bianca and Jade retain their titles against Damage Control with help of Metaphor Girls. Yeah, the Metaphor Girls attacked um, Damage Control while um, the ref was distracted with Bianca. I'm not. I don't know. I kind of like how they're putting all the tag teams in like one division for NXT at SmackDown and Raw. Yeah, I. I don't want Lash Legend to split off from all of them. Yeah. I like Lash Legend would be so much better just on her own. Yeah, I feel like she's, she should just not be a tag team star anymore. Yeah. I mean, like, she can't. This is one with all the tag team stars. They focus m m like mainly on tag teams and do anything, like, mm -hmm. on their own. Yeah. Same with, like, Street Profits. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about them either. I'm still mad about that. <laughs> Ugh. Um. So, what do you think's next for Bianca and Jade? Um, I think they're gonna go for a rematch with Metaphor Girls. Honestly, maybe I don't even know what to do. Oh, sorry about that. Um, I don't even know what's next for them. Cause like I have damage control. I think beating them. Yeah, hundred percent damage control. But like. I don't even know. I'm guessing I'm, I have Asuka in that group that's beating. Mm -hmm. I have Asuka and Kyrie. Yeah. It's just like when Asuka comes back. Mm -hmm. Um. So I guess it's just filler until then. When do we think we see the the split from those two? Rumble. You rumble. Yeah. Or the Saturday thingy. Yeah, I think that's too early. I don't know. It's just like I don't. I'm just trying to make that. Peely seem cool, good. Yeah, Tiffy Stratton to cash in. Uh, maybe. <laughs> um. I was just like exploded inside. Liv Morgan <laughs> introduces Raquel Rodriguez to the Judgment Day backstage, and Carlito is stunned. He is absolutely jaw dropped. At I th Raquel. I think I heard something saying they're gonna try to get him out of the Judgment Day soon. Really? Yeah. I was hearing they might do a double date. I heard they're trying to get uh, Carlito out of Judgment Day. Why? I don't know. Carlito's the best part of Judgment Day. I don't know. Besides Dom, of course. It's just like, honestly, cause I don't know. I guess it's probably something to do with Raquel, but like, Carlito's, they could use Carlito as like the big guy they need to like help Mm -hmm. Finn, but they don't play into that. They just make him some like PS5 weird. dude. Yeah. But I. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, I'm gonna need it. You talk for a sec. I need it. Okay, so um, Blake was talking about how he thinks Carly is gonna leave because Raquel's out of there, so they have a big person to do all the dirty work now. But they also need a male person. But I would I- say. I think they do too. I don't know. I don't agree with them kicking out Carly though. Yeah, I don't want them to kick out Carly though. I want them to kick out JD. <laughs> kick out JD, please. They won't because Finn's his mentor though. I don't care. So, like, I'm not mad. Like, JD's not bad. I just don't like you. Know. Yeah. He's like Rick Shay. He's not bad in the ring. I just don't like him outside of the ring. Mm-hmm. He also just doesn't wrestle. He's like, how many matches has he wrestled this year? Four? Six. Yeah, probably. Um, Not including house shows. <laughs> next, there was a sit-down interview between Adam Pearce and Bronson Reed about having a match with Seth frickin' Rollins. Mm-hmm. And, um, and he wants a match with him, but Adam Pearce doesn't want that. Because he thinks he'll be too destructive. Yeah, but you'll have Braun versus Braun. That's true. Like, that wasn't destructive. Yeah, he said it was too destructive, and he doesn't want it to happen again. Seth is a little man. He's not, nothing's gonna be destructive. Besides his bones. Later in the show, which we can talk about now since I don't have it on here, but um, Seth talked to Adam Pierce, and um, he he talked about how he gets injured a lot, so that's what. I've heard. Yeah. Um. Do you think this is gonna get paid off and at Crown Jewel? Like. Oh, hundred percent. I think it's gonna be at Crown Jewel. It has to have a stipulation though. If it's at Crown Jewel, I feel like. Last monster standing. Last <laughs> freak standing. Yes. Um. Freaking. For the what we did, returning twenty four seven champion because that's something they do. Yeah. Um. But I think that match is happening this next week, so mm-hmm. we'll see how that goes. I don't think it's gonna be anything big for the first match. I think we're gonna have like a few good spots, but that's it. Mhm. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get like too many because Seth is still kind of dealing with an injury. Seth so might just might just like collapse and die. Yeah. Just get tsunami and then just like drown. Yeah. Um. Next, we had the Return of the War Raiders, and they were faced Alpha Academy. They beat them, and they moved on to the tag team tournament. Yep. Which, I'm excited that there's a tag team tournament, because finally a title defense after a month. Do you know who's in it? Um, I know AOP and New Day are also in it. You know that match is happening next week. Yeah. That it... Don't know the rest. Maybe Creed's? I don't know. American Made. Yeah, Creed. American oh, I think it was American Made versus uh, LWO. Yeah, I think so. Which, I don't want that. Yeah. Booyaka, Booyaka. But I heard it's Booyaka and your favorite, Dragon Lee. <laughs> <laughs> At least it isn't no beard Cruz del Toro. Yeah. Or is it Walking Wild? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's walking wild. The Elvis impersonator. But it's I didn't think the War Raiders were gonna come back this soon. Why not? From how they were talking about their injuries, I thought there was gonna be a year. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they said Ivar was like almost a career ending injury. Mm-hmm. How and then who was else? Eric. Eric was also like almost a career ending injury. And then they're back within the year. Sarah Logan. Also pregnant. Oh, yeah, Valhalla. With Eric's child. Nope. Mm hmm. Michael Cole. Oh, okay. <laughs> they have a deer baby. Yep. It's it's gonna be weird without having Valhalla there. Well, they're just a biker it's, it's, gang. It's, it's, it's gonna be normal, but it's just like. Yeah. Valhalla was just there to spice it up. Yeah, because um, they were, they're basically now just a biker gang. They're just like a group of dads now. Yeah. Who just like. Middle aged dads who do this at night. <laughs> what did Santi call them? Like middle aged dads of a 9 to 5. And then and the, at night they are bike raiders. Yeah. Um. I hope they win though. 
But I don't I feel like they won't. Yeah. Just like I don't even care if you don't have judgment if you have judgment day retain. Mm. Just give them matches. Like you can let Finn lose as many things as you want. Just let him win his tag team matches at least. Yeah. Give him that. And then don't give like don't make them lose to Damian Priest and some like random guy. Mm-hmm. That's what I don't want. And I feel like they would do that because that's just something that they would do. Yeah. Since we already talked about like the other matches in the tag team tournament, the two that are going to be this week, um, okay, who do you think is going to win those matches to put this title on the line? I'm going to put the title on the line for those two predictions. Well, you really just don't want to have that title. Um, <laughs> LWO versus... If it's, well, I don't know. I think those are. Because I know LWO is in it. Yeah, I, it's... Because I know it's um, New Day versus AOP. I mean, no matter what, I have I have LWO going through. You have LWO going through? Because they're the only ones that have had like somewhat of a feud with Judgment mm-hmm. Day. Uh, I'm going to have um, Creed, the American Maid, go through. I also just don't like American Maid. Yeah. And then um, New Day versus AOP. Uh, I don't know. It's like... Do we know when... Is it Miz that's getting attacked? I think it's... Yeah, Miz probably okay. then the White Six. I'm guessing... I don't know. I want to say Woods in them, but, like, it's AOP. They can, like, put the burners on them if they want. Yeah. But also AOP can't take a frog splash, so... Ooh, yeah. That just depends. I don't... But, like... I just don't know what's happening, but how fast they want to move. I feel like if you want them to move faster with uh, the whole, what's it called, uh, not Tiger Woods, Woods and Kofi thing, uh-huh. you have them win. If you don't want to move fast, you have them lose. Yeah, I feel like they don't want to have them move fast. Yeah. Um. Anyways, cut the yap. Well, did you choose who you got for that match? About to. Anyways, cut my yap, and I have uh, the, the, the New Day winning. I also have New Day. Okay, well, that's great to hear. So, mm. it's just on a match. We don't even know if it's confirmed yet. Let's go. Yay. Um. Then we had Cody Rhodes and Gunther Promo about who is the better champion and how they respect each other. Mm-hmm. I don't care. <laughs> really this, don't care about this. This dude's just so meh. If this match does not cook, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be tired. Saudi ruined it. I guess Saudi wanted the money, but like, triple. They are like a billion dollar company. They don't need that money. I know. Like, give them the women's title. They need it more than a. I think that's why they made Saturday thing, because they knew this was gonna happen. What, I honestly, Saudi? I think it's just gonna. I think it might be at the elimination chamber because like, that would be interesting, honestly. Because, right, there's been rumors saying the WWE wants Charlotte in a big match at WrestleMania 41. Hey, she's gonna be in the mid card so, division. So I'm guessing it's Tiffy versus Charlotte. Yeah, because <clears throat> that's like the biggest match you can have right now. Mm-hmm. Like, so and I feel like that. She can just win the Rumble, and then live in Rhea, that's happening. Yeah. That doesn't build, and you don't need that to, like... Do you think Liv or Rhea walks in as champ? Liv. Yeah, I think I Rhea agree. walks out. Mm-hmm. I think Rhea walks out, loses by SummerSlam. Yeah, I think she would probably lose to, guess what, Raquel Rodriguez. Maybe. I hope not. I hope they're done with that feud after Mania. I don't want to see any of those together. Mm-hmm. But maybe Raquel. I'll be fine with Raquel. Yeah, you love Raquel. Yeah. Um. Your Mexican mommy. I'm so tired right now. <laughs> I'm like spaced out. Um. I just really hope the match is good. Mm-hmm. That's all I can say, really. Yeah. Like. I'm not gonna get mad about the, like the promos and stuff because that's all they can do. Mm-hmm. They they can only have it on Raw because of all the bloodline stuff. So well, mm. Low key, I kind of want Roman versus Gunther. 
Yeah, give me that instead. That'd be fire. I don't know. That's Roman, so yeah, it'd be good. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess I'm breaking everything. <laughs> um, Braun defeats Kofi Kingston and beats up New Day after the match, but Jey Uso makes the save. Mm-hmm. I think after this, the title rematch gets announced. Yeah, it is yeah. announced. So it's Braun versus uh, Jay. Uso wins now in your city. I hope they don't. He doesn't win. I hope mm-hmm. he doesn't get. Just in case that um, tag team match is not official, I'm gonna also put that as a prediction. Okay. Since we know it's official. I guess it's a title too, so it's fine. Mm-hmm. Um. Jay. Uh, I'm gonna go with Braun. I think it's too soon. I think. I th- Looking at everything that happened later in the week, mm. it makes more sense for him to walk into Survivor Series holding the championship. I think that the new bloodline are going to cost him the title. I think Jimmy is like. Um, okay. Uh, Okay, let's just get into this next thing quick. Also, speaking of which goes further to my point, J- Jay Uso and Jimmy have a segment later in the night mm-hmm. where Jay refuses to help to join the bloodline. Yeah. So, kind of just, Jimmy's back in there. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, I don't think Jimmy should help, because that goes against everything Jay's going on right now. Yeah, right because now. Braun is talking about how he's only there because of what he got from the bloodline. Yeah. And then, honestly... Okay, this is what I think they should do. Will they do it? No. Probably not. Have Jimmy come out. Jay, mm-hmm. like, do something to make him go away. And then Braun, he just just breeds Braun on himself. Mm-hmm. I wrote, wrote sedentary. I cannot speak right now. I do not know why. <laughs> like, my brain, like, I'm not thinking about anything right now. It's, I don't know what's happening. He's just fried, guys. I woke up at 7.10. Mm-hmm. And we're filming this at 7.30. In the morning. Yup. <laughs> um, but, I don't, I don't know. What's up, Jay? I don't know when I have Jay losing. Because I don't... I don't know if I see Jay losing until either Saturday or day one of Netflix. Yeah. I think day one of Netflix seems better. Mm-hmm. Because I think they're going to want to jam-pack that with title matches. And what are we at? That'd be... T- that's This is two, so that'd be three. Between Jay and Braun. Mm-hmm. I'd be fine with that. Who would the other two be? I'm guessing we're going to have Gun- Gunther versus Goldberg. Yeah. And then... That's it. If yeah. you do a tag team match. Because mm-hmm. they're not going to have... Because, God forbid, Rhea... Not, I mean, Liv defends her title. Yeah. And anyone other than Rhea. Because Rhea is all self-absorbed. I mean, I guess you could just throw her with Raquel for a little bit, have them two feud, and then just give her some random people. Mm. If Adam Pierce was good at his job, he'd do that. Adam Pierce is a bum. He is a bum. I honestly think day... What? I'm trying to think about day one. Do we know when Netflix goes in? Is it end of the year? Mm-hmm. It's January. Okay. I'm trying. Because that's going to be big, because it's going to Netflix. Mm. So they're going to go all out for them. I'm trying to see how they can go. I think it's January 6th. Alexa? I think she'd come on back then. I could see that. But also it's Alexa, so I feel like she'd want to come back at Rumble. Also, I don't really want her to come back at Rumble. Yeah. I don't want her to come back to a loss. Mm-hmm. But it doesn't matter. Um... I have Charlotte. So Charlotte, oh my god. I just have Charlotte just because it, it's an easy way for her to get to Tiffy. Mm-hmm. And it's the easiest way for her to get to Tiffy. Yeah. Because, like, yes, you could have Rhea win, but then she's a double she's a double winner. I don't like Rhea winning. Which is okay, I guess. But, like, I don't like... Okay, this is going to sound bad. I don't want there to be double winners for women's yet, just because of how new it is. Mm-hmm. It's only six years old. Yeah, I want it to, like, 
Go to 10, and then I'm fine with double winners. Just right now, I want more people to win. Yeah. Because, like... like well, are you going to have Charlotte win it? Because then she would be a double winner, too. You think Torch would do it? Well, then... Or you could have an NXT woman win it. Or, I mean, somebody win it and challenge the NXT champion. Like that, Charlotte well, did when she won. That's... I don't want that to happen. So we could get Roxanne Perez I'm versus... <laughs> no, the thing is, I'm fine with Charlotte because it's Charlotte. She can just get whatever she wants. I don't mm-hmm. care. Rhea is just like... It's too close of years because... Yeah. Charlotte won in, like, 2020. Rhea won in 2022. That's too close. And the thing is with Rhea, she they want she doesn't need to be built up as, like, a dominant star. Mm-hmm. Charlotte has been gone for... A year. Yeah, a year. Come, and needs to, like, be built up as a big shot. Mm-hmm. If she comes back at Rumble wins, then she's, like, already back in that main event scene. Yeah. Where Liv doesn't need that. Mm-hmm. Which is why I'm flying with Charlotte doing that. Mm-hmm. Um, well. Let's get back into Raw. I feel like been just all over the place. Next, we had R Truth beats The Miz with a roll up after the final testament distracts distraction, but Miz beats him up after post match. Karen Cross gave Truth a fist bump. Yep. <laughs> I'm surprised uh, Howdy didn't get involved. Yeah, and there was no Howdy code either. There wasn't, oh. Is there... Is there a match this week with them? Who? Truth and Miz? I don't think so. I want to say I saw something with... I'm going to look real quick. Okay. Um, Because another match just got announced. A ma- another match just got announced? No, there's four matches announced. Oh. Um... The Nets did not agree to extend Cam Thomas. Why not? <laughs> Cam Thomas is great. Why would they not extend him? Um. While I do this, do you want to hear about the devastating news? Tell them about the devastating news that was announced. Sadly, Samantha Irvin is going to be leaving the WWE as her contract apparently has run out. So now we will not have Samantha Irvin on WWE television. She's probably going to be going to AEW with her hubby. Ricochet. Okay, I guess I was wrong. Um, the match that I got announced for next week is Jay versus Braun, Seth versus Bronson. Uh, so it is American Made versus LWO. Okay, I knew I saw it somewhere. And then AOP versus uh, New Day. Okay, okay. So, yeah. I guess I'm wrong. I don't know. I guess I don't. I would say we could get something, but with it being two hours now, I don't know if we are. Yeah. <sighs> but NXT can pit, pull, like put six matches into a two-hour show. Yeah, the thing is, NXT is the NXT is good. Mm-hmm. Raw is not good. <laughs> yeah, true. I don't know why how NXT can do that so good, but no one else can. Mm-hmm. SmackDown's like, starting to get good at it. Yeah. But took they have how competitive many, endings. It took how many years for them to be good at it? Like, um, 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to give Raw, like, the freebie because they've been for three hours with so just getting used to it. Uh, and they have a pretty big roster. Yeah. I feel like Raw is just... The roster they have is meant to be three hours. Yeah, 100%. They just need to use it well. They have three hours, but NXT's two and a half hours is still better. Mm-hmm. Um, anyways, let's get back into the show. Uh, mm. lastly, we had Re- Liv and Raquel versus Rhea and Tiffy. Ends in a no contest as Nia interferes as Dom- and Dom saves Liv from cashing up. Yeah. That's really all I can say. I didn't, <laughs> yeah. I didn't watch. Um, so yeah, Dom, well, like, it was a, um, Nia just comes in. Um, Rhea is about to get, deliver um, a riptide to Nia, but Liv chop blocks her. Then Nia beats up Liv, tells Tiffy to cash in on her. Tiffy's about to cash in on her. Then Dom rolls Liv out, and Tiffy's yelling at Dom, says, It's not Tiffy time, it's. I mean, no, she said, It's not Dommy time, it's Tiffy time. I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to get tired of Dom in this. He's feeling like the beads, the bead bracelet. 
I like. I just want him to do something on his own. I don't like him just being stuck in. You this. hate Dom. I hate oh Dom. Oh my gosh. I hate Dom in this. I want him to do something better. Agreed. He could go beat Jey Uso right now, and I'd be fine with it. Yo, yeet. Okay, Logan. <laughs> Ugh, I'm just tired of him being suffered by putting him in this when it no longer benefits the feud. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But that's it for Raw. Yep. And now on to NXT. Oh. Okay, now we got NXT. <laughs> yeah. I was waiting for you to do that because it's your segment, but okay, I guess yeah, I gotta do so everything. Yeah, so NXT, here. um... Gosh. So we start out with the... We're training. hiring. Yeah, yeah, we are hiring. Oh. Editor. <laughs> we need an editor. And an, I need a new co-host. Hey. <laughs> okay, just give me a second, chat. I guess, like, unlock him real quick. Okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> um, Tony D mm-hmm. has his North American Championship <laughs> celebration. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> It is interrupted by Oba Femi. Wanting Oba, Oba, Oba. <laughs> Oba, Oba, He wants his championship rematch. And um, he's, Tony accepts. He spins the wheel. And it is going to be T-L-S. Tables, ladders, and scares. I guess that's fire. I guess that means we, we want a TLC back, so. We've had tables, ladders, and stairs before. Not recently. We, it, we had an entire pay-per-view on it. Yeah, I said we wanted it back. Yeah. Tables, liars, and stairs. Not, no more no more of the chairs. Yep. Um, I'm not going to lie. Honestly, I could see just having Oba run it back. Oba, Oba. I don't think they should, but they probably will. Mm-hmm. Then next we had Stephanie Vacker versus Ren Sinclair. Where Stephanie Vacker picks up her, the win in her debut match. It's really making me mad how you say her last name. Vacker? Valkyr. I think, I don't know. No. Stephanie Vacker. Sure, I don't know. Um. And after the match, um, Cora and Perez beat her down. Made her down. <laughs> and then um, Julia makes the save. And then they challenge them to a match at Halloween Havoc, which they accept. Yippee, that'll be a good match. Yeah. No, it won't. Then we got... <laughs> <laughs> Trick Williams and Kalani Jordan having a conversation backstage where um, Trick Williams is talking about how he's going to have a longer reign than last time. Kalani Jordan says that um, Ava's going to choose her next opponent and we see Fatal Influence watching in the background. And then later in the episode, we see Fatal Influence begging Ava for the chance. They said that if um, Fatal Influence beats Julia and um, Stephanie Vacker next week, <laughs> um, then they can get a chance at Kalani Jordan. Then Yay. Lexus King versus Oro Mensa in a gentleman's duel. That was the dumbest thing I've ever like watched in my life. <laughs> they didn't like play into it at all. Yeah, they did. Yeah, like twice. He put his hands on the mat so you don't get... You can't hit him. <laughs> and Lexus King comes out with the W on uh, in the match. And after the match, he raises Ormensa's hand. Which is an okay. And then later in the show, he um, he basically asks um, Charlie Dempsey for a shot at the... Um, Heritage, Heritage Cup, Cup, and Charlie Dempsey denies him. What heritage does Lexus King have? His father. Next. <laughs> um, Nik- oh, you're going to be mad about this one. Oh, God. Nikita Lyons, in her return match, beats Lola Vice after Jada Parker attacked Lola mid-match while ref was distracted. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> um... Then next we had Ridge Holland versus Riley Osborne, where Ridge Holland beat Riley Osborne. Then after the match, Andre Chase returns and beats down Holland. Yippee. Yippee. Uh. Next we had um, Brooks Jensen versus Ashante the Adonis, where during the match, um, Carmen Petrovich comes out. She almost kicks Sean Spears' head off. 
and she leaves the rose petals from Ashante on the ring apron, which distracts him and allows um, Brooks Jensen to get the win. Yippee. Has he won a match yet? No. Gosh. Go join back with... Cedric. No. Go to TNA. Hit row. Hits Mon Lee. <laughs> what? Yep. I thought. Ah, oh, my. Ugh. Um. Next, we got Ethan Page <laughs> versus Wesley and Javon Evans. Um. Ethan Page wins and is gonna face Trick at Halloween Havoc. What Tr- the trick? What the trick? We indeed do what hear that, that as Trick, trick comes out. And they spin the wheel, and it is going to be a Devil's Playground match. And then after the wheel spin is over, Ethan attracts Trick with a light. With <laughs> that Trick. Oh, yeah. Okay. We don't want the... <laughs> yeah, we're done Thank with God. that, Steve. You guys... I don't watch anything this week. Yeah. So... He was on a cruise. Jay... Uh, so the new... Oh, uh, wait. First, SmackDown. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I gotta say that first. Mm-hmm. We started off with, I acknowledge you solo. I love you solo. I love you solo. New Bloodline promo. They talking. They talking. They talk. And then Jey Uso starts walking his walk. Starts yeeting and skeeting mm-hmm. down to the ring. <clears throat> Jay be talking. New Bloodline be talking. They mad at each other. Raw, they got beef. <laughs> Jey Uso go yeet away. <laughs> yup. <laughs> then we had DIY versus Street Profits versus Pretty Deadly, who's actually back, but didn't do the <laughs> musical. Um. They're never gonna do the musical. And a tag team match for the tournament to move on. Like for a tournament to move on to the tag titles. Mm-hmm. You know who should have won? Street Profits. You know who didn't win? Street Profits, but they technically did. DIY won. They both got pinned, but uh, pinned wrong Kit pin. Williams wasn't in. Yeah, he was an illegal opponent. Yep. So I guess I guess we're chilling with that. But the other winners we had later that night, I'm fine with DIY winning because it'll be a good match. Mm-hmm. Um, Then we had Tiffy is revealed not to be there, so Nia gets... Our speed champion, Candice LeRae, as her new partner for the night. Candice LeRae is so good. She's so underrated, honestly. Shut up. Stop talking. Leave. Get out. Okay. I can't look at them the same anymore after their match at, uh... Elimination Chamber? No. Uh, I... I... What was the last Saudi show? Um, Not, King of the Ring? Yeah. After that, I can't look at them the same. Can't... Oh, wait. They had a match then? Yeah, they... Face Bianca. Oh. I think it was the pre-show. Oh. Because remember, Indy and her husband oh. fits. <laughs> yep. I can't look at them the same. Um. Then we had Roman, Jay, and Jamie backstage segment where new Travis Scott music was previewed. What? Yeah. The car came up, was promote was previewing a new Travis Scott song. Why it happened, I have Fiend. no clue. Fiend. I have no clue why that. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> But we had uh, Jim Roman saying he's proud of Jay, and Jay says no yeet and walks away. No yeet. Then we had a Cody promo about his match at Crown Jewel. Yippee. We all love that match. Woohoo. Then we had Kevin Owens promo from his car about how this friends and WWE betrayed him and how he didn't betray them. And he's gonna, he said he's also going to be gone for a while. It's the world against Kevin Owens, not it, Kevin Owens against the world. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm guessing he's coming back at Crown Jewel and setting Cody up. Yep. That's all that makes sense. What if Randy Orton's the master manipulator and he sent Kevin Owens after him? That's what someone said. He just got beat to get beat. Mm-hmm. Um, 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 um. Speaking of Randy Orton, Orton talks to all this back... They won't book Randy versus Kevin at Crown Jewel because of higher ups or the rock. If you smell, he says no, no, no. Because he wants to protect Cody. I mean, yes, Kale. yes, yes. 
Then we had A Town Down versus Los Garzas. And a mystery opponent, which wasn't really a mystery because it got announced on Twitter like a few hours beforehand because they got contracts. <laughs> so it wasn't really. It was Motor City Machine Guns, Rat a Tat Sat. Um, they won. Motor City Machine Guns won. Honestly, I've never, I'm going to be honest, I haven't watched them, but their intro, their theme and, like, intro was fire. They are great wrestlers. I've watched them before, and they're one of my favorite tag teams. Ooh, they're so cool. I know. And the cooler one. I spit in the face of people who are not cool. I forgot I had stuff over here. Um, let me finish my stuff, I guess. But, DIY versus... Motor City Machine Guns should be cool. They'll be mm-hmm. getting match. It has next week. I'm guessing Motor City Machine Guns are going to uh, intervene. I mean, are going to dethrone. Both yes, ones. please. Um, and we got your favorite match of the night. Candice LeRoy pins Bailey clean. Just joking. Indy, and Indy did some stuff mm-hmm. to get her win and to get her, uh, to get her and Nia the win. Mm-hmm. Over Bailey and Naomi, which I guess is fine. Yeah, and really they want to promote their speed champion. I don't even care anymore. Just do whatever. Speed champion is elite. All elite. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it is announced that Ellie Knight will be the referee for Melo and versus Andrade Part Game Seven. I'm really mad at that. I really wanted to be false count anywhere. It really should have been false count anywhere. We don't need LA Knight in this. Because this match is just going to end in shenanigans. Exactly. And this match can't end shenanigans. Last time LA Knight got um, interfered, people complained about it. Why are you putting him in another match? I hate how LA Knight is stuck with these guys. Give him a random feud just for this. Get him Shin. Give him, put him in with Shin. Escobar. Honestly, give him something while these two do their stuff. Then after they Baron finish this... Corbin. Honestly, do anything. Give him a, like... Giovanni Vinci! Yes, do anything. Give him a freaking hornswoggle. I don't care. So, just Giovanni keep him, Vinci? Just keep him away from this stuff. Then we had Roman Reigns and Blood Glenn segment where they beat down both Jimmy and Roman for, like, the 16th time. The same main event every single week. Um, we getting Solo versus Roman at Crown Jewel. Woo-hoo. Are we? Yeah, probably for the Ula follow. Okay. I hope not. That's it for SmackDown, guys. Yeah. I'm gonna smack my head into a wall. Um, Halloween Havoc time. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, guys, we didn't realize Halloween Havoc was happening at all. Yeah. Until, like, recently. Mm hmm. So, Halloween Havoc. So the first match is... Well, right now, we only have, like, three, I think. Yeah, we only have three announced matches, so that's where we're going to go off of, even though we know there's going to be more announced. But nothing we can do about it. Mm -hmm. So the first match was Cora, Jade, and Roxanne Perez versus Julia and Stephanie Vaker. I'm guessing Julia and them are going to win. Yeah, Julia and Stephanie Vaker are going to win. I'm going to kill you. (laughs) I'm putting... Putting on the gas. I'm not reversing my car when I leave. I'm just gonna hit. I'm just gonna run inside. Just hit your house. Oh no! Not my house. <laughs> then we have Oba 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 versus Tony Delangelo, Michelangelo. In TLS. Oh, I'm guessing Oba wins. Oh my gosh! I want to see Oba jump off a ladder. Tony D'Angelo is gonna win because Oba can't climb. Do you know what been? This match would have been good, better in. Devil's Playground. Is this... Do they rig it? How... I don't no, they don't rig it. We almost had two TLS matches. <sighs> this match... Do like, you know what would have been a good TLC... The TLS match? What? Javon versus Oba. Oh my gosh, yes. Like, this match is like... It's gonna be good, but like... TLS... I was gonna say TLC. TLC's easier. TLC's meant for like high flyers. Tender love and care. TLC's meant for hot flyers. <laughs> That's why, like, Jeff Hardy did so good in it. Mm-hmm. He was in the first TLC match. Yeah. Tony D'Angelo and Oba are not doing anything besides 
causing a crater in the world from jumping off like a two <laughs> steps. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna see like Oba like pull off his Ivar, go to the top, hit like a triple moonsault, back spring fog splash. Mm-hmm. I got Tony D'Angelo though. Sadly, I want Oba to win, but I got Tony. Did I even say who I have one? Yeah, you had Oba. Okay. Um, then we have, this is, wait, this is not my segment. Oopsies. This, yeah. Um, we got. Then we have Trick versus Ethan Page. In a Devil's Playground match. (laughs) (laughs) I had to. Um, I have Ethan retaining. You mean winning? Nope, retaining. I have Trick retaining. Regaining? Retaining. You said regaining. No. <laughs> I have Trick regaining his confidence in life. Yeah. Um, no, I have Trick winning. Yeah, Trick. So our only different match is the Oba match. Oba, Oba, Oba. Oba. Yup. Um, foosball time. Okay, Broncos at Saints. God, this is the worst, like, Thursday night football game I've ever seen in my yeah. life. Yeah. So, um, Broncos win 33-10. to Javante Williams had his best game of the season with 14 carries for 88 yards and two touchdowns. Cedric Wilson Jr. leads the Saints offense with six catches for 57 yards and a touchdown. Uh. Agreed. Uh, this match was terrible. That That's my opinion on it. Yeah. <laughs> Bunk. Okay, actually, I don't... My only complaint about it is uh, the Saints quarterback... Spencer Rattler. Did not realize he was a rookie. Mm-hmm. Um, good. My, that was my thorn. My rose of the match was the Broncos' defense. They got me 21 fantasy points. Woohoo! That's how I'm going to be talking from now on. My rose and thorn of the match. Okay. Um, then we had Pat, Patriots. <laughs> Patriots at, and, ja- and Jaguars. In London at nine o'clock in the morning, <laughs> Jaguars won thirty-two to sixteen. Drake May went looked really good as he <laughs> went twenty-six for thirty-seven. That was he missed nine passes. <laughs> really good. He MVP season right here. One hundred percent. Uh, for two hundred seventy-six yards and two touch touchdown. Uh, Brian Thomas goaded rookie of the year. Mm-hmm. Hopefully. Tank Bigsby drove the Jaguars to this win with 26 carries for 118 yards and two touchdowns. ETN, I don't think, played. No, he was injured. Yeah, he's injured, so he's Thor number one. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Brian had, Thomas Jr. We had Tyson Campbell be activated, which was good. Mm-hmm. We had Josh Hines Allen playing coverage for some reason. So I don't understand why we have him playing deep threat coverage when he leads... The NFL in sacks every year. Almost. Almost. <laughs> like, this is supposed to be his 40 year season. 40 year? Like, sex. Oh. But no, we have him playing deep. Yeah. That's so, what happens you change your last name? Guys, don't get married. Yeah. Um, <laughs> next, we had the Seahawks at the Falcons, where the Seahawks dominated 34 to 14 win. DK Metcalf finally put it together and with four catches for 99 yards and a touchdown. And I, he's actually hurt now. Yeah, right? so I think he got injured. But it's, it's only week to week, so I think he's going yeah. to he's gonna be out for a week or two. B. John Robinson had a good day with 21 carries for 103 yards and a touchdown. The, the only problem with this match was I don't like Kenneth Walker also did really good. Mm-hmm. Um, he had two touchdowns, I yeah. think. The, their kick, Falcons kicker did terrible for once, and it made me mad. Young Way Koo. He got one point. Mm-hmm. Um, that's all I have for that. Um. Shh. Okay. <laughs> it's your match anyway, so yeah. Yeah, we had Titans versus Bills and Amari Cooper's uh, debut match. Keon Coleman had to tell uh, 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 Amari Cooper what to do at one point. Everyone got mad. I don't know why they got mad. He's been there for maybe, like, five days, so let the man live. Mm-hmm. A lot of people were hating on this match, and I don't know why. They won by 24. Mm-hmm. Keon Coleman looked phenomenal with four catches for 125 yards. Amari Cooper had a touchdown. Mason Rudolph looked terrible. 
obviously. As he turned the ball over four times, four fumbles and one interception. Like, they won by 24, and you're going to complain about the match. Exactly. I understand. But with... Mason Rudolph. I think with all they needed was a receiver. Now they have a receiver. Now I have them back as a playoff or Super Bowl contain- mm-hmm. c- 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 candidate. Yeah, 100%. Um, Bills are a really good team now that they have a actual wide receiver one. Because Khalil Shakur was a wide receiver too, and Keon Coleman is a wide receiver too as well. Keon Mark, Coleman's really good. Yeah, he's a good wide receiver, but he needs somebody in his rookie year too. Could you imagine they got Xavier Worthy? Oh my gosh, that would have been so deadly with Josh Allen's deep threat arm. Yeah, except for Xavier Worthy's done nothing besides week one. Yay! That's all I got for that match. Uh, Tony Pollard did terrible. He did. Um, next I don't know what I expected. game, we got the Texans at the Packers, where the Packers fo- pull off the last second I hated win. this game. It was so weird. I was so confused watching this game happen. Mm-hmm. Sorry for cutting you off. It's all good. But, like, what happened? As we'll get into, it was really weird. Like... You can get into this. You can say your stuff real quick. Um, Jordan Love looked great as he was twenty four for thirty three with two hundred and twenty pa- yards and three touchdowns, but two interceptions as well. And then um, Joe Mixon had a great day with twenty five carries for one hundred and fifteen yards and two touchdowns. Like the Texans got twenty two points, but did nothing S- with the ball. C J Stroud had less than a hundred yards passing. Yes, and no like receiver did anything. Mm hmm. I was like, so confused when I saw the stats of this game. Because I saw on my fantasy, he had five points. And I was like, how? Yeah. Um, and at one point, Joe Mixon was running. And you could just see him, like, his whole body moving back and forth. I don't know why it was so funny. Um, Jordan Love. Good. Muy bueno. What's the tight end? Tucker Craft. Tucker Craft. Muy bueno. Jordan Love leads the league in touchdowns and interceptions. Muy bueno. Um, then we had Bengals versus Browns. Bengals had 21 points. Browns had 14. Mm. This was Nick Chubb's return match. Yep. And this was Deshaun Watson's ending match. Suffered a career-ending injury. Hopefully career. He tore his ACL. Achilles. Achilles. He ruptured it, I think. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing this is it for him. Yeah. They were all booing him once he left. Hmm. He it's over for him in Cleveland. Yeah, just in general, I think. I think he's done. He's done. Mm-hmm. Um, T. Higgins had a good day with four catches for eighty-two yards and a tutty. Yep. Woohoo! This match, next match, my favorite match of the week. We got the Lions at the Vikings, where the Lions pull off the win, thirty-one to twenty-nine. Jimmy Gibbs looked electric with nineteen touches for one hundred and sixty total yards and two rushing touchdowns. Ivan Pace has a scoop and score touchdown after David Montgomery fumbles the ball for the Vikings defense. Well, we didn't talk about Kirk's scoop and Michael Penis Jr. started. No. I mean, played. That was in the Falcons game. I know. I was just looking back at it. Oh. Uh, sorry. Jared Goff looks so good. Mm-hmm. Uh... I can hate Dan Campbell as much as I want, but he's such a good head coach. He's so fire. I love Dan. He is a little bit too rambunctious. With he his is play psychotic. Calling. He calls I a think... fake punt. <laughs> Every they game. can be. They could have had three sacks in a row, and he will go for fourth down. <laughs> he will tell you to do it, and it will work. Exactly. They, no, they could have it a Philly special all, from three sacks. He, they, it can pull it off. Exactly. The match was so good. Vikings got their first loss, though. Mm-hmm. Lions are my Super Bowl contenders. Yeah. If they can do it without Aiden Hutchinson, that's fire. Lions at Bills. I heard uh, they might they, people want them to pick up Max Crosby. They need to, dude. You know how fire that would be. There's, exactly. There's no stopping them. Like, next season would be Max Crosby and Aiden Hutchinson together. Oh. Well, Aiden Hutchinson's coming back Super Bowl if they make it. Yeah, exactly. That would be electric. The thing is, everyone knows that he's going to the Jaguars. Yeah, obviously. I wish. I actually know. I don't want defense. We don't. We have a good defense. I just want offense. And then your my favorite game of the week. Dolphins versus Colts. Yay! Sixteen to ten. Colts win. 
Yeah. Junu Smith led the Dolphins in receiving with seven catches and 96 yards and a touchdown. Tim Boyle entered the game at one point. I think it was so bad that, like, <clears throat> they both, Tyreek and Jalen Waddle, had, like, two receptions combined. They did, indeed. Yeah. Uh, Tyler Goodson had 14 carries with 51 yards in his first NFL touchdown of his career. Woohoo! Um... Yeah, Best I think two was starting next year, next year, next week. <laughs> yeah, he is, and he's not wearing a guardian cap. R.I.P. in his head. Guardian cap looks so fire, to be honest. I know. Why would you not wear him? Next game, we got the Eagles with the Giants. <laughs> Eagles win twenty-eight to three. Sorry, Falcons fans. What? Twenty-eight to three. Falcons. Yeah. Twenty-eight to three. Super Bowl. Oh. Um, Saquon Barkley ran all, all over his old team with 17 carries for 176 yards and a touchdown. Malik Neighbors looked decent in his first game back in from injury with four catches for 41 yards. That was their best offensive performance. I think Drew Locke came in end of the game. Yep, but so fire. But the coach said that Daniel Jones will start next week. Ugh. League neighbors look terrible. He had got me eight points of fantasy. I know, dude. He was their best performer on offense, so I had to put somebody. Yeah. Free sexy Dexy Malik. Mm-hmm. Um, then we had Raiders versus Rams. Rams won twenty to fifteen. Mm-hmm. Gardner Minshew looked terrible as he turned the ball 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 over four times, three interceptions and one fumble. Kyron pounded the rock. <laughs> Were you smoking the rock when you wrote this? Kyron Williams pounded the rock with 21 carries, 76 yards, and two touchdowns. Pounded the rock. What were you cooking over there? I'd do bare minimum on this. This was all you. Pounded the rock. Oh my god. Please explain to me and our lovely viewers what pounded the rock means. The ball is the rock, and they kept pushing the ball forward with the run game. Yeah. You've lost your speaking privileges. I'm saying this next one. You, you're you done. It's over for you, buddy. Hmm. <laughs> Go. Just get Panthers at Commanders. Commanders <laughs> destroy him 40 to 7. <laughs> Chuba Hubbard looks great, decent with 17 carries. Did Chuba Hubbard pound the rock too? <laughs> yeah, for 52 yards and a tuggy. Brian Robinson looked good as well with 12 carries. Did he pound for the rock 72 too? 72 yards and a touchdown. Yay. Wow, both the running backs pounded the rock. All three of these running backs really just. Pounded, they really lathered that rock up and pounded it. They really, really put some baby oil on that rock and just tush pushed it. They really pounded that thing in. Oh my gosh. Panthers suck. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Sam Donald had an interception. Where you he, mean Andy Dalton? Yep, Andy Dalton. We just threw it into like the off. The, oh, he does. Yeah. He did. Chiefs at 49ers. Chiefs won 28-18. Brock Purdy threw 220, 212 yards, three interceptions, but had two rushing touchdowns. The Chiefs were amazing on the ground with 38 carries. 39 carries. Oh, my gosh. 184 yards and four touchdowns. Um, How are the Chiefs 6-0 right now? They have no team. Um, this good is question. Like, Juju Smith-Schutzer is their one, number one receiver. Mm-hmm. Making me mad. Yeah. Then next we had the Steelers at um, versus the Jets, where the Steelers win 37-15. to Aaron Rodgers looked d- terrible as he threw for 276 yards and a touchdown, but two interceptions to Beanie Bishop. Um, G- <laughs> George Pickens had a monster game with five catches for 111 yards and a touchdown. Uh, This was Russell Wilson's com- return match? Yep. Match. Return game? Mm-hmm. Everyone was mad that he started over Fields. But, oh, my gosh, was it the best decision they could have made. Yeah. And Dog walked them. We got two games that we got to predict. 
Um, Ravens versus the Bucks. I got the Bucks winning twenty three twenty one. I have Ravens winning uh twenty four to twenty. Okay. And I'm predicting that Mike Evans gets injured. <laughs> Predicting. Um, um, we got the Chargers at the Cardinals. I got the Chargers winning th- seventeen and ten. You have who? Char- Chargers. Oh. Um, just because I have Kyler on my fantasy, I'm gonna have Kyler pulled off. Um, what's the score? What, what, what are we thinking? These teams suck. I'm gonna say fourteen to seven. And that's all we have time for this week, as we have run out of time. So I'll see you guys next time. Oh, we have six seven. Okay. Bye next. Bye guys. Peace. We'll do the same thing next week. Goodbye.